Good morning, it's your boy Jake Global, Orange Cactus Coffee, kicking it with you, ready for another Angel's Cup tasting flight, and I gotta be honest with you, I am a little nervous, a little scared, a little bit like I'm not quite trusting my palate here. The look like Monday, we had a coffee from Indonesia that I wasn't ready for, and then yesterday we had this uh, anaerobic processed coffee that I wasn't ready for. Um, I don't know how many of those anaerobic and fermented coffees I've ever tasted. And then, so like today, it's like, what is it? What is it? Are you gonna are you gonna throw me an easy one over the plate here, Angel's Cup? Are you gonna give me one uh, right over the middle, or are you gonna keep uh, painting the corners there on me with your fastball? So. I don't know, using the uh, Gym 7, or I'm trying to use Gym 7's V60 method. I think I've got 30-something grams, 32, 33 grams of coffee. Going to go to 450, 500 grams of water. And then we're going to try and figure it out. I don't know, it smells caramelly. Caramelly? Caracelly. Smells a little bit like caramel, like one of those little caramel chews. That's what I'm getting on the nose, but I'm not trusting it. I'm not trusting what I smell, because I think I'm being set up. I think I'm being set up, Angel's Cup, with something that is unusual and that I've never experienced before, which is good. I mean, it's nice to try coffees that you've never tried before. That part, I think, is very good. And then that's why, that's why I do the tasting flight, is to taste stuff that I normally wouldn't taste, stuff that I wouldn't buy, stuff that I never even would think of. So that's where we're at. Looks like we're at 466. And we're at 500. Perfect. Gonna scrape the sides, make sure we loosen up all the coffee. No body, or no wallflowers. Nobody hanging on the wall. Everybody to the dance floor, all the kids in the pool. There we go. All right. Little swirling vortex of awesome there. And now for you to see what it is. You got it? Good? Mm -hmm. All right, you know I don't know. Everybody knows but me. Always makes it a little more, I don't know, a little more pressure, a little more pressure. Also grabbed all the mugs, just because I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try on all of them. Got the open, got the split, got the tulip. These are Tim Wendelbow's mugs. Like how it's brewing down, we're at 310. So far, so good. I like that time, I didn't want it too short. So, this is good. That's the first thing that comes to mind. It's like one of those little, what are those little soft caramel chews called? I don't know. Caramel chew? Caramel chews, perfect. <laughs> hey, there we go. A caramel chew. There we go, there's that. Perfect flat bed, looking like wet sand. Digging that, get you a little bit in this one, a little bit in this one, a little bit in that one, and then, thank you Secret Santa. I still don't know who provided me with this to-go mug, but it's been helpful, and it's very nice. There we go. Work coffee's ready, everything else is ready. Now it's time to give it a try. A lot of sweetness, very sweet, right in the right, right up front. That kind of goes back into the side. I know that sounds weird, but that's where it's at. I'm almost. I'm, I want to say cherries. I want to say cherry. Try to split. But I mean, cherry doesn't doesn't pair well with caramel, so I'm not think or caramel. Sorry, I don't think it's both. I don't think it's cherry and caramel. I'm 
going with cherry. I want to say cinnamon a little bit. Cherry, chocolate, cinnamon. The origin, I'm going to say Colombia. Cherry, chocolate, and cinnamon from Colombia. Cherry, chocolate, so all C's. All C's. Ethiopia, a natty, Queen City coffee, blueberry, strawberry, tropical. Very fresh, light, and not overly bright. Getting traditional, natural European, uh, Ethiopian, European, that's great. Ethiopian flavors like blueberry, strawberry, hints of tropical fruits, and some slight nuttiness in the finish. Even has some slight florals and a honeysuckle type sweetness in the finish. But I, I am not getting blueberries to the face on this. Strawberries, yeah, the tropical, I can see that. I think I'm getting more of the, the nuttiness and the honeysuckle. I think that's where I'm hanging out at. Excited to drink it as it cools. Like I said, it's very sweet. Like, bam, hits you right away. Uh, a really delicious coffee. Don't know if I'm getting blueberries to the face, which is what I expect from a, a, an Ethiopian natty. Could be the way I brewed it, I don't know. But Queen City Coffee Roasters is fantastic. So, well played, Angel's Cup. You win this round as well. And I hope you have a wonderful day.